Anything under three minutes don't count. And if you use a condom, it really Daddy's don't baby count. daddy wants full custody of daughter. Fears she's caught up in sex. Cool of joy. Nothing better than seeing you smile and become a young man. I am so proud of your future. Ah, right, man. So um, as I was going through my social media feed, I came across this clip here of um, Jada Wada or Jada Chiefs who's on um, little baby's baby mama and little baby ex-girlfriend. And I thought about it. I was like, yo, that's kind of... Um, it's a little interesting. Uh, I just want to put my two and two together. I want to speak on it. So let me go ahead and play the clip for you guys. And I'll get back to you and let you know what I think about it. All right. So this is it. I messed up my two-year celibacy for three minutes. It don't count. It don't count, girl. Three minutes. Anything under three minutes don't count. And if you use a condom, it really don't count. You can't make this shit up. You good. You can still say you celibate. I messed up my two-year celibacy for three minutes. I'll play one more time again. It don't count. It don't count, girl. Three minutes. Anything under three minutes don't count and if you use a condom it really don't count you good <laughs> all right man so here's the thing about social media man you gotta understand sometimes people got to you know people have to say things just to keep themselves relevant on social media i'm not too sure if she means what she said in this video or you know she just said it to um part on um, spark some uh, conversation on social media because sometimes you know people just do things you know just to spark conversation or to keep themselves relevant or they get bored or what they're like all right let me just say something um let's let's just say this let's say she means it right she really meant what she said some of more than i'm not gonna say all about some of modern women the way they think is it's unbelievable right it's very unbelievable um so basically what she's saying if you had sex with a man and the man did last about i'll say under three minutes it doesn't count it doesn't count especially if he wears condoms that doesn't count at all you gotta make it make sense though yo my brain was having a hard time just to process is this information and that's why i decided to talk about it. i was like damn is she being funny so basically <laughs> what i think it is like you know she been single for the past two years she probably probably been having her ass a chicks clapped uh, left and right all right uh yeah just like that and most of those guys they probably went they went not you know they went on satisfying satisfying her the way she wanted it and maybe some of them only nodded after three minutes or less than three minutes so and most of them probably wearing condoms that's what she feels like yo it doesn't come so she's trying to redeem herself herself from being a slut pretty much pretty much how are you gonna tell me like someone who wears a condom doesn't come so you tell me that if you're having an intercourse with somebody you guys been smashing for the past year let's say you're smashed for six months and every time you smash he wears a condom you gonna tell me doesn't count you gotta make it make sense though you gotta make it make sense first of all let's let's just go over um um the definition of sex actually let me let me google let me google it over here um what is sex though and of course so what is um and of course sex and of course right? so to me without even checking this right sex i know we all think about sex yeah if a man put a penis inside a vagina that's sex. Like, yeah it's a it's sex too i get it but to me sex any anything that involves sex i mean penis or vagina that's a sex act you can be fingering somebody that's a sex act that's why you see people you know get in trouble if they just like what okay why what do they call a sexual harassment at work if you look at somebody in certain way or you talk to someone in someone in certain way or you touch someone in certain way why do they call it sexual harassment sex to me let me finish what i'm going to or what i was going to say anything that involves sex your vagina or your penis to me so if you finger someone that's sex you had sex if you get head you had sex i'm not sure about making out to me making out is not sex if you get head you, you got head from somebody or you get head from somebody that's sex somebody finger you that's sex to me that's sex and, and of course it's sex as well so let me just go um see what a dictionary on um, that's oxford oxford languages a dictionary right sexual contact between individual involving penetration so anything that involves penetration it doesn't matter if the person wears condom or the person perform on the three minutes is to sex so let's take on uh, her definition right on the three minutes doesn't count if you wear a condom you know you wear a condom it doesn't count so let's say she catches her man cheating with another female and let's say the guy trying to defend himself be like hey babe yo i already not it less in, in in less than three minutes do you think she going to say okay baby doesn't count you good we good that wasn't cheating ah she would not think like that another example let's say she catches her man cheating by the man who was condom by the men clap them cheeks uh, uh. 
for a good 30 minutes. A good 30 minutes. Do you think she gonna say, yeah, it's fine. It doesn't come because you were smashing the other girl with a condom? Nah, she doesn't make, she does not make sense. So let me go back to the, uh, the definition. Sexual contact between individuals involved with penetration, especially the insertion of man's erect penis into a woman's vagina. So another thing is, if I use toys on you, that's sex. I might not be penetrating you, but if I'm using a toy go inside you, in you, that sex though and here's the thing um i have on notice about women too though you know some women not all obviously when they talk about sex you know they always complain about oh i need somebody who can give it to me for at least an hour i need that i need that yo three minutes i get it generally speaking it's not like a crazy amount of time but somebody's giving them strokes for three minutes let, yo what, what's my phone man let me let me do a timer man I'm, let me do a timer right let me do a timer here let me just do it let me log on this, all right so timer let me do a timer right timer clock let me do clock here. I'm gonna do a timer because women been playing with that. They think like we men are machines though. So one, let's do um, let's do so here. Let's do three minutes. Sh you're getting shrug um, sh sh for three minutes, all right? So let me start, all right? Start. So we're going like this. That's not even going fast, right? Like non stop. You keep going non stop. Yeah, we're capping them chicks non stop. Let's go. Keep going. Yeah, let's keep going. All right. Look, it's only like 33 seconds, right? But the amount of stroke that was, you know, whatever it was, was more than 20. So if somebody goes like all the way to three minutes nonstop, giving to you like good, hard, three minutes, for some women, it's good enough though. Like I said at the beginning, generally speaking, I know it's not like what people expect. Even men, nobody wants to be to the last three minutes. But if you think about it, you know, sometimes what I notice, right? You know, I had time that, you know, I'll be having sex. Like I'll put a timer or no timer about, Oh, uh, look at the clock. I'm like, all right, it's like 7.40. All right, let me see how long it's going to last, right? I've done it before so many times, right? And I'll be going hard doing all that. You know, you're doing all that, right? And sometimes you feel like, damn, yo, I've been going hard for a long time. And you check the <laughs> you check, you check check the clock. Yo, like I said, it was 7.40. You check like 7.47. Like, damn, oh, that for seven minutes? I thought I was like, I thought we did like an hour already or 30 minutes. So sometimes when you're having sex, you know, you feel like, yo, I did a, it's a long time. Man. I've been going hard for a long time but you check the clock you don't even do much you don't even do much you might think that three minutes is not enough right but that three minutes if somebody's giving too good yeah you gonna feel it though you gonna feel it and sometimes you like you wanna go like oh I want it an hour most girls can't even handle an hour though if you, you getting in a non-stop maybe an hour before play all that yeah most girls can't even handle an hour though yeah you might think three minutes is not enough but actually yo if you think about it that might be enough for you you might think you know you did it for a long time you feel like damn I've been going hard long long time but it's only like five minutes seven minutes and that five minutes you think it's a long time it's good enough so what i'm trying to say is like you might think three minutes is not enough but those three minutes it might be very enjoyable for you here's another thing too some women prefer to reach the climax faster than keep going for an hour without even reaching the climax so i think sex is even better if you guys are physically emotionally connected right and you reach a climax for most women yo most women will prefer to reach the climax in five minutes minutes then have sex for an hour without reaching the climax simple simple very easy very simple so yeah sometimes people just talk to talk man you know they talk to talk and i also heard like you know sometimes i get girls on the podcast they talk about yeah i need me like a man who has a, i need me a man who has like a long d at least like i can do nine inches yeah i be bogging nine inches yo hold on hold on hold on i, I do have a tape the average size is about 5.9 so this is nine in inches right this is nine this is long you gonna feel feel it in your throat you're gonna feel it so nine inches most of you can't even handle six most of you can handle six you think oh oh, oh four inches five inches is not good enough for me nah nah it's good enough for you trust me boo boo it's good enough for you and that's why sometimes you know you finger when your man fingers you you feel it and it fingers like how many three inches yeah three inches but you feel it so yeah 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 need to really work on your math though your math women i just know it's a most women not good in math but anyways uh i want to talk about the next topic man uh this one i want to talk about by Russell Wilson, right? Russell Wilson married Ciara after Ciara had a kid with Feature, you know, the Pookie, I know who's Feature, right? A very notorious Pookie in America, a rapper, successful rapper, good one. I listen to him sometimes. But um, regardless, he's a Pookie, man. He doesn't he doesn't mean nothing. He's still a Pookie. So Russell, Simon, uh, Russell Wilson married Ciara. Um, I think together, they do have a total of four kids. I think them two, they got two kids together, if I'm not mistaken. So he left, Um, he, I think he had a message on Twitter for Feature, 
who's on features fit on feature sound so feature had a kid with ciara so russell Wilson is actually the stepfather right so he married on uh, the mom so he became the stepfather so this is why he said about the little features features sound i'm full of joy nothing better than seeing you smile and become a young man i am so proud of your feature oh i am so proud of you feature working as a ball boy for the Steelers and in locker room oh no, let me let me read it. working as a ball boy for the Steelers and in a lo in a locker room being so dedicated to sports and everything you embark on you are the sunshine of my life I love you keep winning son there is nothing you can't do with Jesus on your side love you to heaven and black heart emoji black heart emoji most of people most people have called Russell a simp including myself sometimes but I ain't gonna lie man you gotta understand everybody's different man everybody's different some people might not like to be in this type of situation they might think it's not for them they, they might they might think oh you know I, this is crazy i can't do it my oh my people i don't i know I, I don't you know i don't know what people gonna think about me blah 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 but for some people they're okay with it so we should not expect people to like what we like it's four o'clock although i do get it certain things are not normal for example like if somebody likes like eating poop that's not normal i'm trying to say but that's maybe too extreme as an example but for this situation russell does not mind to be a stepfather and i can tell he's very genuine about it. he's doing because he truly loves this boy i ain't gonna lie so his stepfather became the stepfather loving the boy like his biological son that's amazing man i can't hate on that i cannot i cannot though this was sweet though this was sweet and this little boy needs that love because feature too busy getting like more women pregnant i'll say so this boy need he needs love and he needs if uh, uh i can say uh a father figure because like you gotta think about it man it's a part of society this boy one day but it might become somebody so if he didn't get a proper love that he needed it when he was younger yeah he might be a failure for society he might cause issues in our society so russell doing that man salute to you boy salute <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is amazing, man. I get it. Some people might think, yo, he's a sin, but listen, you got to understand, he, he's enjoying doing it. So I don't see any problem with it. I don't see any problem. He got he got money, he got bread. And then what's the issue though? Seriously, like, I mean, I, I love what he did, man. I love what he did. And he has a good heart, I would say. He has a good heart. So that's good, man. I like that, man. So the last thing I want to talk about, it's, um, I don't I didn't feel like I've been talking about it. Kelani, man. Kelani's baby daddy wants full custody of daughter fears she's caught up in sex cults man let me say this man no offense to this guy man kilani's baby daddy kilani's baby daddy used to play guitar um for kilani she i mean he's not that famous oh uh, kilani's famous but um i ain't gonna lie the, the, the baby daddy is a little footy though <laughs> Sheesh. he's a little footy it looks a little bit more feminine than kilani though seriously i i see why they kind of match they kind of like each other because man relationship is reflective man you attract who you are man kilani you know she she has a lot of i'll say um, I'm not trying to bash her or anything like that. I don't know her personally, but uh, I can tell that she she had a lot of issue growing up. You know, she didn't have the proper affection. You know, that's what I say. But features on sound because it's very important. She, she had a you know she had a rap also childhood. You know, I watch about her story a little bit. You know, I watch a few podcasts of her speaking about her life, things of the nature. So her upbringing was a little tough though. So now it's reflecting on her adult life. So which is very uh, it's very sad. That's why your father and matter we we both need to be in our child or oh, children's life it's very important i don't think him raising the daughter maybe is going to be better because he's a little off to me he's a little off this dude is a little off so i mean at the end of the day that's that's his daughter though. that's his daughter i have no say in that nothing nothing that i can do but uh, i think they should just raise the daughter both together it's better i don't think like if one of them do take full custody of the, the child it's gonna help somehow no it's, it's not helping they both should raise the child because i think they both emotionally unstable somehow so yeah it's, it's just sad to see this it's just sad though and he's talking about his sex cults i mean i'm not too sure about what she what he means by that um you yo you picked it you picked the girl yo you knew the girl like because he used to play guitar for her so i'm pretty sure they went on tour together they've been places together you know he got to get to uh get to know her learn about her character as she moves how she acts all that so and you decided to make a kid with her and 
and now you're talking wrong about sex cults, things of the nature. I don't know if they sex sex. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't know what she, what he what he means by sex cults. But let me see if um what Kelani sex cults. Kelani. So yeah, I'm not sure what he means by sex cults unless Kelani is really that dumb just to have uh, her daughter being involved with those type of weirdo stuff that highly weird do. Um, I hope not though. But um, yeah, you we just have to pick on uh, wisely sometimes, especially when you're trying to nut inside of a woman. You, you gotta pick wisely though. Um, yeah, man, that's what I had. Uh, I had to say about this topic, man. Yeah, other than that, yo, I wanna add one thing about um the first thing that I talked about, the first topic about um Jada Wade. Speaking on nutting, so <laughs> I kind of I kind of feel like eventually girls gonna be like, hey, if you you know if you had sex with a guy and he, he didn't nut inside of you, it doesn't count. The biggest of, biggest of what?